Bought another set of these 12 ton jack stands so I could have a complete set of four. That way the RV can be supported from both sides. That should help keep things a little more stable. Here's the jack that got squished. You can see it's leaking a little bit of oil. So we got a new one of those. And we got some of these uh, hose grip pliers. So I can put my, my fuel pressure regulator in that spot where it's supposed to go. And I can reach in, grab the hose, and slip that on. There's somewhere that seems a halfway decent place to jack from. That gives me a little more. There's a little less space below the between the jack and the motorhomes. So I could jack it up higher. Back to where we left off. Got these two bolts. Um, this plate has another bolt going to the bag on the other side, but that I can't get to until this is unbolted. This and this is all one piece. And it looks like I need to unbolt the hydraulic shock, which I started to do. You can see that's missing. I didn't bother putting it back together because it didn't really matter at that point. I was getting towed. So we got lots of support this time. Got this to raise and lower the axle so I can work with this. This also had just one bolt underneath. There's the damage. This looks like this whole thing is just a bracket to hold the hydraulic jack on, which is cool because I can just leave that off. This definitely looks like a spring mount. Okay, now this can come out, I think. Oh, good, we didn't lose that. That must have been the spacer for the other side of this. Freaking sweet. This is going to be so much easier to get back on without this. Just this nut, but it's just spinning, as you can see. It's I need to go from back behind and grab that so got off with some PB blaster and an impact gun. I was able to get that off without having to grab the bolt from the other side. So I think it's getting to come off now. I could I bet you I could get leaf springs for this, but it's already set up. It's already got the hardware for the airbags and these are actually welded on. Okay. There it is, there's an air chamber and the bag. Yeah, it kinda actually looks like Huh. Looks like the bag didn't blow after all. There's some wear there's some wear on that. Hmm. So I don't know if that's from over inflating and rubbing on there. Or what, but that's definitely some damage.
the bag. So we found out it's six and a half between the bolt spacings uh, center. Measure that too. So I'll get online and see if we can't match these measurements up. A lot of different options on line, but it looks like this number is what I want to look up. I, from what I'm seeing in the pictures, is this W serial that starts with W. As you see here it says tested on 5 6 9 88. I don't know what 69 represents. 69th week of uh, the year maybe. But 88 that's probably you know the same year as the motorhome. So these bags are original. These uh, model numbers don't really match up to anything. Pour some of that on there. Two bolts here. You want to take off this whole bracket, this whole mount. You got the mounting plate for the bag, which is attached to this expansion chamber, and one bolt here. But this, I don't think will come out. It might wiggle out through this slot. I just, it's covering because this has got a little loop down here, and so that needs to pop up and out or it needs to slide back a little bit in and out because the way the bracket is in here I just don't see any real easy way of getting that off without taking off this hydraulic jack which I don't, they don't work anyway, I'm going to take them off and leave them off so that's got two bolts here and a bolt right there I do believe that's it and of course it's got this thing holding it on too So two, three, four bolts to get the jack off. The jack and its bracket. I think you can actually just take the bracket, the jack off if you wanted to. Try and get to those two bolts, which you have to get down in through here, get the other side of them. But I'm just gonna take. We're gonna go boom, boom, boom. Take this out of here, and then two bolts up there. Boom. And of course, we got that one bolt down there too for this cone. washer with these you want to be careful not to lose that
Okay, that's the all four bolts, the three small ones, and this one big one's loose, but it's still holding on pretty good. There we go. There we go. This airline that needs to be removed. Five-eighths inch. Just one last bolt there. It's a uh, three quarter inch. heard an air raid siren up here before. <laughs> News. Must have been a test. We're up here with a lot of farmers too, so I'm sure they all have all sorts of horns and sirens and...